Greetings! Welcome to my channel, where I play all kinds of games for your watching pleasure. Remember to hit subscribe button below, and let's get started. Alright, so in this video, we're going to be going over how to survive your first night in Minecraft. That's right, your first, very, very first night. It can be daunting sometimes, especially if you're a new player. Now, when I first started playing Minecraft, it was way back when the game cost like five bucks. And back then, it wasn't easy to get started. In fact, you had to figure out what the heck to do. And there wasn't many new updates uh, to help players get through the game. You kind of had to figure it out all by yourself. So, uh, no, further, no further ado, let's get started. Uh, we're going to create a new world. Well, we already got a new world called Surviving. That's what we're going to use today. Surviving. That's right, we're going to be surviving. How about that? Checking my mic settings to make sure this mic's on. Uh, okay, let's go. So, we're in survival. We're going to set the uh, settings to hard. Just to make sure. Okay. So the very first thing you want to do is find wood. That's the very first thing. You don't want to, you don't want to waste any time, especially in hard wood. So find some wood. Find the nearest tree. You know, these directions are going to be clear and concise. We're not going to uh, dilly dally. So we got some wood. Great. You don't need much to start out. Just enough to get by. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting table. I'm going to make a crafting table as soon as possible. I'll put this baby down. Luckily, we're spawned right next to stone, which is great. I get out of wood as soon as possible. So, I'm going to make some sticks. Okay, got plenty of sticks there. Okay. We're going to make a pickaxe. I would make a pickaxe the first if you're near if you are near uh, stone get the stone right away your key is to get the stone as soon as possible you don't want to deal with uh, wood because wood takes a long time and it's going to take a long time to get uh, to where you want to be so you just want to get enough stone okay so go back to your table. Right, so I'm going to make a stone pickaxe and a stone axe. Okay. So two pretty important items. Okay. I'm going to pick up my my little table there, and I'm going to mine the heck out of some trees. Okay. See how much faster that's going? Yep. I'm going to get enough lumber to build my first house. Now if I'm lucky, I can find some sheep along the way. Because the great thing about sheep is that they let you build a the, their wool will build let you build a bed. This will make things go a little faster. But I'm not seeing any sheep. So we may be uh, looking for uh, looking at some tough a tough night. Really, how your first night is going to be is pretty much up to you, and it's kind of random as well. Got some wolves. Okay, you know, pay attention to the sun. So the sun's going the other way so that means we don't have much time left okay let's uh let's see how much wood we got that may or may not be enough okay we're gonna get some more you do not you just don't want to skip out on the wood 
it's actually the fastest way to get enough materials to build your first hut. Okay. So the first hut's going to be relatively small. Okay, we've got half the day left. Okay, so we're going to just build right here, next to the water, nice and flat, and look, it's right next to a ravine. We might be able to find some uh, iron sooner than later, okay? Alright, so we're going to put our crafting table down, I'm going to make some more room, we're going to start making our hut. Okay. Right, should be enough room. All right, here we go. It does not have to be perfect. It has to be enough to enclose you so that enemies can't see you. It has to be a closed structure. See, that sun's going to go down. Once it goes down, we are... This has to be finished. forgot to mention we need coal. Well let's finish the structure first. We're in a race against time here. Okay, it's minimally height. It's a minimum height of which we can fit our body in. Okay, so there you go. Make the roof. We can make this higher later. The goal is to get enclosed. Clothing, something. Okay. Sun's going down soon, so we got to find really one light shaft open because mobs spawn where it's dark, even if it's daylight. They will spawn anywhere where it starts. We leave one little thing open. Now we need to find coal somewhere. So we're going to run over here. I see a cliff side. Watch out for shafts. That'd be a bad one, bad day. Let 
I'm going to find coal on the side of a mountain. Okay, gotta remember it that way. Okay, don't get lost. If you get lost, you're screwed. Okay, let's look at got coal. Great. See, coal's easy to find. You may be asking, why are we getting coal? Well, because you can get torches, and torches uh, give light, and they don't allow mobs to spawn. Now, are there any sheep? Nope, no sheep. See, I can see a mob down there. I think. That's just water. There's a tree down there. Interesting. So we're going back to our, our little shelter. Now that we have coal, we can make uh, torches. So it's starting to get dark. Okay, we're going to light this place up. Okay. Alright, so where's our uh, crafting deal? Well, we're going to have to make a new one. That's fine. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk dying. Because the sun's going down. So we're going to make a crafting table again. Well, there it is. Thank God. I need the extra wood. We're going to make a door. A solid door. Okay. All right. Now we're going to make a shovel. Okay, now the shovel will uh, allow us to build our floor. Now you could do this in a way, see how we built it, was the ceiling was a little short, so. Oh crap, don't do that. <laughs> the key is you do not want mobs to see you. Especially the um, the creepers that explode, because if they explode, you they'll destroy the base, and your hard work will be for naught. And this is just something we can do while night time is um, doing its thing. We are not even worried about what's going out there right now. This is on hard mode, so... Because on hard mode, once you let, once you let them in, they uh, don't stop coming. If you found a sheep with some 
you could have gotten some wool and shortened the night period. But this, that doesn't always happen. And when it doesn't, that means you have to survive the whole night. Okay, so not perfect, but it'll work. That's why it's important to get all that wood. See, I already, I still have 64 blocks of wood, which will help me complete this structure the way I want it. Damn. Okay. Looks good. Now we're going to make a set of stairs. We have a completed room. This is where we're staying the night. And uh, at this point, you're safe to you know, put a skylight in. As you can see, the moon is starting to go down. This is how I tell if I'm not, if I don't have a bed, this is how I tell whether or not it's about to get daylight. And I just sit here and wait until it's daylight. Hear them up there. See, I wasn't out there for more than a couple minutes and I already got hit with an arrow. You, can, you guys can fast forward if you want. Uh, we're just waiting for the sun to come back up. There 
it goes. Here comes the sun. You see how fast we had to do that? If you, on hard mode, if you don't do that, you're going to die the first night. Now the sun has to come up all the way so it can burn the crap out of the, bo the, the mobs. If without these torches, um, we prob we would have had some problems. You know, started spawning inside my own hut. Well, let's check it out. See? We made it. We just survived our first night. There's still a mob there. And look, we have a whole day to ourselves to get some iron and whatever things we need for the next day. See, once you get past the first day and you're in a good location, you'll be fine. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you find it useful. And uh, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.